I'm back with another review. You know, these days I'm learning Scratch, and I find it very interesting. We can make games, short animated stories, and also some greeting cards. I made one for my mom on her birthday. So I want to share what I'm learning with you. So let's get started. So guys, now let me introduce Scratch to you. So first I will tell you how to go in Scratch. Like how to sign in. So first you have to press new, you have to go to your browser and you search scratch you'll see this you have to press on scratch imagine program share and then you have to create an account i already have an account but when you press that you'll see this in front of you and you can join Scratch for making a account. But I already have an account. That's why I will sign in. My username and my password. Okay. Now, when whenever you go inside your um your account, you will see this page. You'll see some games at the bottom and these uh, at the top. You What you have to do is press your account, your username. It will be there. And you press my stuff. Now when you go in, you will see zero of them if you're new, if you do not make any projects yet. <clears throat> yeah. So... So, uh, you have to press new project. If you press new studio, it will let you go here. You will see this. You can name it. And in studios, what you can do is you can invite friends. You can make friends in Scratch. If you have a friend in Scratch, you can go type their username and make them a friend, a friend of yours. And then... You can make a lot of games in that together. Like if you, if the title is shooting games. So you can make a lot of shooting games in it. Like that. So what you have to do now is you can, for the project you have to press new project. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so when you go in new project you'll see this okay so if you don't know what this is this is a character you can use in a game in the game greeting card or whatever you're making you want to make so this is a cat and if you wanna if you want more uh, sprites this the characters are called sprites so if you want more sprites, you can add, choose a sprite, press this. After that, you'll get a lot of sprites options of them. There are a lot of them. Now, if you want to find something that you cannot find easily, you have to go at the bottom or something like that. You can choose. You can also search like, for example, I want a fox. See, the fox is here. Now, if you want something that is not here, for example, a meteorite. Uh oh. See? It's, there is nothing. Now, for that, you would need to press new tab, or, yeah, new tab, and then, and type whatever you um, want for example you want a shooting star shooting star 
you can go to images and choose any of them now if you can't find a good one and you want like animated one one instead of these you can uh type shooting star animated or also shooting star clip art you'll see a lot of them now for example you want them to be in your game then you can choose one like for example i choose this i'll right click and save it save image as your laptop your computer can be different so you have to save it in your desktop or oh uh, yeah desktop i'll go save it there uh yeah then you go back to scratch and and then you can upload a sprite you can go here upload sprite and upload it for example this and then it's here now you can do now if you want to edit it you want to add it then you can go here choose costumes and do anything you want with it now if you want that first it should be in this angle then it should become like this star should be at the top and this uh, its tail or whatever it is called should be at the bottom you can make costumes you can select the whole thing and you can turn it you'll see this thing you can turn it like that you can also turn it like that yeah and then the first one is like this second one is like that now uh, you do this for you will know how to do this in the code which i will tell you in the other videos this video is for introduction yeah after now we have done with the sprite now let me tell you what a backdrop is a backdrop is like a background wait i forgot something in the sprite you can see this you might be wondering what does it mean by surprise now let's say you you don't you have a lot of free time and you go you decide you that you want to do scratch game but when you go in scratch you can't think of a game or a greeting card or a story think of a game like if you want to think of a game you can't think what things what sprites you want in it then you can like click on sur uh, sur <laughs> surprise and it will give you a sprite like this guy and all and one more thing just now i told you the costumes right uh, of this i told you this now if you don't have any uh, uh oh any costume here like you you don't know what to choose then you can also draw go here Paint, uh, choose paint and you will see this in that you will you can choose the brush make things <laughs> that's funny I'll just erase it you can erase the mistakes you make <laughs> okay and also you can make squares and circles and if you are making something very easy like a stick man there will be you can also make it with sticks uh, a stick and then a circle I'll make this circle um, transparent no color and then yeah you can make the hands and the feet you can also put like spot black dots 
from the paint and that's all you can you have made a stick man so for that and then you also make hard stuff okay let me tell you one like all these characters they are made all these prices they are made for example this apple this apple when we go to its costume you'll you'll see this that uh, okay wait yeah so this white thing is an uh, another picture this red uh, shape of it is another picture this black out uh, outline is also another picture this this line and this brown thing is also like different pictures they combine it and make one sprite so you can also take pictures from the browsers and then you can just put them together and make invent a sprite haha <laughs> it's it's also fun like if you if you're like you're feeling bored and you don't want to do a scratch game you can just go and make something make a sprite <clears throat> now for the backdrops the backdrops have the same thing for the sprite it, you can search them there are a lot of things now uh, same as the sprite you can also upload some you uh, go in the backdrops no, first you go in a new into a new browser, and you can search maze. Like a lot of backdrop, the uploading backdrop is mostly used for ma mazes. The backdrop will be the maze. So you go to a browser, uh, type maze, uh, save it to your desktop, and paste it. Upload it. <clears throat> And same goes for surprise as the sprite. You can just, if you have no idea, you can just do it. Yeah. And then you can also paint some. You want to upgrade this, put a sun here, uh, just take a ball, I mean, a circle, just make a circle, uh, make it, what? Make it. Uh, yellow and put some lines whatever you want to do so it's your choice whatever you like you don't like it yeah so if you wanna if you want to delete some sprites that you don't want you can just go to them press them and you'll see this just been icon you can just press it press 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 now if you don't want this backdrop, you have to press it, you go to backdrop and delete, delete, delete. Uh, this is the last one, that's why we can't delete it. Yeah, if it's white, we can't do anything. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have learned and understood what I shared with you in this video. So if you have any questions, comment down below and I'll be very happy to answer them. So that's all for today. I'll commit more, more videos for Scratch. So till then, keep practicing and bye!